Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com Today I'm gonna show you how to make wooden textures How to paint these wood textures in Photoshop uh, We'll use brushes for this and uh, uh, just some basic stuff just increasing and decreasing the flow and um, you know changing the colors to make these wooden textures and these old oops, these old painted wooden textures and a wheel and these textures and the, uh, this rock or you know something like a rock texture and we'll use this in the next tutorial where we will add these textures to our model so be sure to stay with me my name is Apanwob and this is gfxtoday.com let's start by making a texture for the old painted wood right here so it will be just wood but it will be old painted so I'm gonna go to Photoshop open a new file press ctrl n and I'm gonna make it let's see 1024 by 1024 and press ok and we have this so my basic color would be like a bluish desaturated color which is the paint itself you know something like greenish blue color maybe this tint and press alt d alt and delete to fill this with the color okay so now i'm i want to crop this to maybe something like maybe something like this okay and let's make another two selections i want to make them in a new layer like this and this will be the edges of the wood so I'm gonna choose another color Maybe. okay something just a little bit darker and press ctrl D deselect alt and reg to add this in here and now we have these two layers and the background layer now I wanna make a new layer and let's start making the scratches so with the scratches I use a brush and I prefer these brushes over here so in order to show you how it looks let's select one like this and I like also to play a lot with the flow so this is how this brush looks and I wanna make this a little darker and I wanna start with the top make a like scrunch right here but now I wanna use the color for the wood itself so it should be something like brownish color like this and I wanna start making some let's decrease the brush you can do so by right clicking and adjusting the size of it and start making something like it maybe it shouldn't be too intense let's go to the razor maybe something like that. and you can decrease the size again and now I'm let's make the shadows give it a little bit more depth and Okay, so from the beginning you need to know where your light would 
direction would be so if your light would come from let's say from this direction so every shadow would be like in here but if like what I'm working the light comes from direction this direction so the shadows will be from the left side and the lighting parts or the, the lighter parts would be from this right shadow okay so this is the basic that I'm working on so I'll pick this color hold down alt and pick this color and make a little bit lighter like this and start adding don't need to be very you know don't feel the whole line it's not recommended you can do this here too now let's add some grunge here like this color make some you know some thick parts some uh, small parts like this maybe a little bit here of course it would help a lot if you have a tablet but it's not necessarily at all it's not necessary and also you can start small and go big like so if we take this side for example we can start this and then increase the size while you're working and then we can choose maybe the same brush for the eraser and start You know, just use anything to distract the eye from seeing perfection. This is the, the main key making these textures. You can see here. Now press Ctrl 0 to see it from to the whole image and now we can start by adding some of this in here oops <laughs> okay it's the eraser you can increase I wanna decrease the flow and increase my brush size to get this effect Okay, and maybe a little bit here. You can uh, rotate your brush from here. Of course, if you have a little Photoshop knowledge, you may know most of these things. now this looks okay let's move on to the next part and I want to decrease the size maybe a little bit more and choose this the same color and start let's increase the flow maybe decrease the size a little bit like this and now start making this random don't need to make the whole thing maybe just leave part like this
as you can see it's pretty straightforward you actually doing nothing special but the final artwork would look good you can see here also helps if you decrease the flow maybe a little okay and you can do the same thing with the other side Okay, so now we have these grunges. It looks like the, the old paint would be like scratched or something. And I like this. Now let's make another, some parts in here. Hold down Alt, pick this color and, and make it a little bit darker. And start making like the same things over here. Maybe like. So you can start big and go small like this. We now start filling the color. And we may take some from these branches and fill it over here. Now I want to take this stick from here and let's add like you know these grunges over this area. We may decrease the size a little bit more and start working on there. Okay, now let's work with the shadows and it's already going to black but it gives nice effect. Okay, so this is looking okay now. I wanna make some highlights over here. So I'll make it almost white and start giving some highlights in some of these areas. Not too much, but it looks nice. You can also decrease the brush size oops I have low disk space don't remind me again I know this those people don't need to see this only me Joe just tell me great <laughs> okay so I need to free some space up don't worry I already know Guys, if you already have some spare hard disk, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> you know, these graphics takes a lot of memories. And now I was almost falling from my chair. Oh. Okay, yeah, you can bring in a chair too. Okay, this is a mistake. You need to get the highlights on the right side, like 
this at the left side so be careful with this and just put add like some touches don't need to be too much like so it adds really nice contrast to the painting You can increase the texture size, the, the, the image size from here if you want, but it w you can do this after you start working. So from the beginning when you press new, you need to increase this if you want. I don't recommend this if you are going to use it for games because, you know, games need some low uh, size images and low poly models. You should already know that. If you don't, okay, you know now. Yes, okay. And again, this side. I'm not too much. I'm going to get it fast. This one was a lot faster. Okay, now let's make some scratches over here. So I'm gonna take this same color, this one, and start. Let's rotate brush and start making it over here. So what I'm gonna be doing is start painting something like this and maybe or you know what i'm gonna make it on a new layer so that we can easily move this later on okay and this part is darker than, than this part so i'm gonna do the same thing over here so um let's do this Okay, so now it looks like it's going with the same direction of this and I like also to make some highlights over here oops no 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 a little bit just a little bit like so and we may also give some of this color like over here so that it looks like it's getting the same maybe like this okay and now looks like it's almost inside it's like deep in here and now let's work with some of this let's get some of this color maybe make it a little darker and i'm gonna add something like this in here so like the paint came into this now we can get this start making these scratches over here Increase the flow a little. We get some of this brownish color, it's nicer.
ok maybe you can increase the size a little and start making these branches over here maybe the mm, darken it a little bit and something like this now let's start on on the highlights and shadows this will give us the effect of 3d so I'm gonna get the same brush and maybe rotate it and start getting this highlight over here and start painting in these areas like uh, let's see so the, the light on the right and the dark on the left maybe you can get some of this dark color first and start working on here I think this area went too much for me so I'm gonna cover this part with the same color and I know some of you guys when I did it was like oh man no it's uh, okay and then they said let's see what he got and now you you are right Okay, so now it looks much better and also I'm gonna delete some of these grunges so let's also decrease the flow of the eraser and start Now this looks like the old painting has been scratched over and over in this part. Okay. Now also this part. Let's get this color and get the brush. And darken it a bit. And give it some like shadow in here. It's too much. and you know what I maybe need some of this color increase this color and start uncovering we just leave this part it's not even looking good just leave a little some of this okay now we're good these solid color parts need to have some scratches or something so I'm gonna get this color and now I'm going to add another layer and this will be the scratches all over my painting so let's add some scratches like here and there and again for this part 
and I wanna get this color and start making this really big and no let's get this very solid and start making scratches all over your painting maybe a little can get this color and make something like in here like painting would be gone from this side as you can see it gives a little bit more maybe you can decrease the opacity for it can make it really big so anything that scratches your eye from seeing perfection as we said before also we can use another brush like this one and get this color and start you know adding some grunges here and there okay I don't like this last one okay now I kind of like this one but I need to get some highlights it mm, let's see let's take this color make it a little brighter and the opacity the flow needs to increase a little bit like this and I'll add some highlights like over there maybe in here in there and let's see maybe something there okay we may refine this part and maybe get some of these and add them over here okay okay that looks good now I want to take this oops I was working on the scratches no that's not good let's get this from here anything was done here I'll control X cut it and paste it in this layer and now it's in another whole new layer and it be careful with your layering okay and press ctrl e to merge those two layers together so now they are just one layer and we need to add some scratches let's get back our scratches in these okay now let's unhide this layer and put it above everything now what I wanna do is get this layer pull down alt to make a copy control T and flip it we will not put it exactly like this in here but we'll just start tweaking so you can press control T and Maybe something like this also maybe you can get the wrap and start doing things you know and start working from here instead of just you know starting all over again so 
we can start deleting and I remove this part over here and maybe this part and maybe you can add more scratches let's get the other And maybe just delete a little from it. So now it looks like it's completely different from this one. So this is the method. So I'm gonna keep working and keep adding more details and I'll just make this very fast on the video. So and um, you know this is one texture. Then I'll show you how to make the other textures in this video we'll start and just skip forward and make this like speed painting video to be able to get the idea
So after finishing our textures, these are the final results that we have. So we have these, um, you know, these are basically the same textures, but with some differentiations between them, you know, starting playing here and there and adding some, you know, different textures to get this look. So when they are next to each other, we have um, this difference in look. And again, these are the same, but just change it the hue and uh, the hue of this and some of the saturation to get this different. But uh, you know, this one is basic. Uh, this one and this one is the same as this one and go same one. Now we have this texture of the wheel, you know, and uh, this texture of a rock, some rock. And this is basically, um, I don't know which one, this one, I guess, or maybe, the, yeah, yeah, I think this one. Okay, so just desaturated and start playing with the levels a little bit and you're good to go. And we have these two textures, this one for this one, you know, the, this, it goes in this part of the wood where all these, when you, you know, when you cut the wood and all these cut marks are there, it will be uh, more clear in the 3d when you we have got this so we have this texture which has some bluish you know and uh, on the edges to go with these ones and we have this just to go with these brown ones so these are all what we have so far and uh, this is nothing this is just the background you know <laughs> okay so um, I'll make sure to uh, post this to be able to download from the download files and be sure to make able for you to uh, use them in our next tutorial it will be very exciting we'll add all these textures into our 3d model and start rendering them so thank you for watching my name is Abanob and this is gfx today.com <laughs>